Okay, so what I'm going to do for everyone today is a short pixie with a little bit of disconnect on top. So what I'm going to do is just start out with my clippers. I'm going to take the number two guard and I'm going to take that all the way off. Now, what's important in this part is basically the technique. So I'm going to use the two all the way up, but you can see here how I'm scooping it out. So I'm already trying to start my blending, not to create too much of a line there. So it's all about getting the clipper right against the head and just sort of scooping it out. And then what we're going to do is jump in to just clipper over comb. So I'm already going to blend that into the back. There's not going to be any disconnect in the back. I just want a nice blended all the way up. So I've got the clipper closed. So it's either open or closed. But I feel like when it's closed, we get a little bit um, tighter. So I'm just a clipper over comb all that back to connect and take that weight line out. So as I move on to the side, I grab my number two guard again, just to take all that weight off the side and just connect it. Now this is where the disconnect sort of happens. It's gonna hang over the top a little bit. So I'm gonna take that all the way off, just number two, running it again, right up against the head and scooping it out when I get to the top. Even though there's gonna be a disconnect, I'm not gonna do a hard line or anything like that. I still want a bit of shape to it. So what I'm doing is just sort of scooping it out with the clip as you can see right here. So then moving on to the other side and just sectioning that top part out of the way. Gran got my number two guard on there. What I'm going to do is just scoop it out, get rid of the majority of the weight or the majority of the hair. And then we're going to use a comb, just clip over comb like we did on the other side. We're not going to take it all the way up to a number two. We're just going to slightly blend it in. So you can see here right at the parietal ridge, I'm just blending it in. That's basically where I want the disconnect to happen, where I want it to hang over. Now the parietal ridge is basically where the head starts to curve. So the hair is going to fall over that, but in the back, I want it to be a nice shape. I want it to all connect in the back. So just going through it with scissor over comb, making sure everything is connected. So now I go through and I wash it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right around the crown area. Now everyone does this haircut a little bit different. This is just my technique. So what I start off by doing is horizontal lines all the way across or horizontal sections. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it all the way back. So I'm going to make sure it all connects. I don't want to leave any disconnection in the back of the head. So I'm going to take my first section right at that crown area and connect it to the bottom part. So we're just going to scissor over comb it, make sure that there's no little loose hairs hanging out. But right here you can see I'm just keeping my sections nice and clean just making sure everything's connected beautifully so working my way around to the side again uh, there's going to be a bit of this connect here but I just want to make sure on the parietal ridge is just make sure that it's all blended on the side before we let that disconnect fall over the top Okay, so let's go on to the top section and again working across the top middle. So I'm doing horizontal sections, but I'm going to drag it all the way back because I don't want it to be disconnected at the back. I want it to be disconnected on the side. So you can see here that I'm connecting everything, just pulling it out to start with right at 90, just uh, zero across the top of the head but keeping my elevation so we're building a bit of a weight line in the back or a bit of a weight area right around the crown area but i'm dragging everything back so there's no disconnection now the disconnection as i said is going to come on the sides when that hangs over Okay, so moving on to the top, what I'm doing, again, still working towards the front of the head, doing horizontal sections across, but grabbing it up vertical down the middle. So my part is horizontal, but my section is actually vertical. And I'm actually bringing it all into that middle section. So I'm dragging the sides back into my previous section and over directing it into the middle. So it's more or less cutting like a mohawk. So you're bringing everything up into that section right in the middle to make sure it's all connected. Let me turn it around, look. 
this will make more sense. You can see right here. So dragging, over directing the sides into that middle section, just making sure it's all straight. So after doing that, now I'm going to go through and I'm going to texturize it a little bit before we even dry it. So what I plan on doing here is giving it a lot of movement. So you can see here, I'm going to section it off. Now, even though you're texturizing it, there's still a method to the madness. So I go through section by section and I'm going to cut or chip away at the end. So we're going to go pretty deep, making sure that we break up that line and just give it a lot of texture. Now, if I didn't go as deep as this, you wouldn't really see it on this haircut. So it's very important to go really deep with you. Don't be scared to get in there and give it some texture. So you can see here, again, just going section by section. There is a method to the madness. A lot of people think we just go in and hack away at it, but you really need to keep an eye on where you're at in the haircut just to make sure that it all works. Okay, so after going through and texturizing it, we're going to dry it and I'm going to finish off with the locked hairspray by the Salon Guy. Look, I'm such a huge fan of this hairspray. I've used a lot of different sprays in my time and this is such a cool finish. It's a matte finish with a medium hold, so it's still workable. I actually use this on myself all the time. It just gives it a nice gritty feel and a really medium hold that you can mess with throughout the day. I absolutely love this haircut. I love everything about it. I love the way it turned out. I love the texture. Most of all, the hairspray. The locked hairspray is one of my favorite sprays on the market at the moment. It's just a really cool spray. So I hope you've enjoyed this hair tutorial. If this is the first time you've come across my channel, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I'd love to hear what you have to say, so leave a comment down below. Hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe.